Okay, after having the chance to play the Ellen Page experience, I began to think, what exactly is a game? I mean, hopscotch is a game. Are video games basically no different than hopscotch or tabletop games? I mean, hey, a story can be put around anything. Just like hopscotch earlier, let's just say you decide to go wherever you wish and just start drawing hopscotch panels on the ground and on the walls and on the ceilings of people's houses. Now, surely that's the story of it, but people may just think you're crazy, start kicking you out of their houses. Or maybe they just join in and play hopscotch with you. But then I began to think, well, maybe the difference is just how we play games. So let's just talk about gameplay versus game interaction. Now certainly there are a lot of games out there that have a lot of gameplay, some more than others of course. A favorite game of mine with a lot of gameplay would be Ninja Gaiden 2. I consider that game to have a high level of gameplay because your hands never really get to rest, especially on higher difficulty levels. But the same could be said for many other titles, Tekken, Street Fighter, Uncharted for that matter. Now, I know you're wondering what exactly is game interaction and just how does it differ from game play. Well, for me, I'll explain it in this way. Mass Effect 3 had a feature on the Kinect where you could use voice commands to move the characters around. Now, the options were very limited and it, and it didn't always work. Because, well, people have different voices and voice recognition software isn't where it needs to be at the moment. I mean, it's hard to tell Liara to move her cute little blue bottom around when your little voice is as thick as a Corvette's exhaust pipe. Mmm, Liara, go over to the corner. Cover fire, Liara! But it was a nifty thing to have, even if it felt gimmicky at times. But that's what I mean by gameplay interaction, when you participate in a game without having direct control. Now there are a few other games that abuse this far more than Mass Effect 3 did. One would be Final Fantasy 13, where it felt more like I was watching the game play itself rather than controlling that. But of course, the most extreme case at the moment to me would be the Ellen Page experience, where you literally can't die. You just fumble your way through to the end. And while dying, I admit, is a very dated way to instill a sense of punishment for making mistakes in games, it does drive the point across that you fucked up. So try again to do better. And when you eventually do do better, I would hope you would, you would get a sense of accomplishment. But maybe that's my fault for thinking that games should instill a sense of accomplishment rather than just busy work and something to do to pass the time. I'm sure a lot of people do use games just to pass the time and don't care about the sense of accomplishment. In the recent past, I once made a joke about how in the next Final Fantasy, to accomplish some of your goals in game, they are going to tell you to take a little nap on the couch in front of the Kinect. But in retrospect, I wonder how far away from the truth I really am in that matter. With the Connect 2 point no one gives a fuck, that thing is supposed to be able to see your heart beating and take all kinds of warrantless information. So who's to say that they will not have you doing all kinds of fuck trollery in front of the damn thing? Now, I'm not going to bash the idea of game interface over gameplay, because I think in general, the idea of game interface is great for those who have trauma or lost a limb to experience their favorite games, and while still adding a new level of immersion for everyone else. My issue is with game companies that will try to use this as a new means to lower player involvement in general. But then again, I'm sure developers will just change easy mode over to movie mode and you'll be able to just sit there and watch the game play itself. Anyway, that's the end of me here. And this has been Partnering Pals! Game Interface versus Gameplay. You all have a blessed day.